much time do we have? A few seconds. Five, four, three. Hi, I'm Colleen Nord for the News Channel 3 Special Report. We're here at the home of the founder and CEO of Adopt a Zombie Program. Let's go inside. Hi, Miss Norwood. I'm um, Eric, and... What did you do? You got blood on the baby. What the hell is wrong with you? How many times did I tell you not to get blood on... Oh, give me, give me this baby. I'm sorry. You gotta wait a couple minutes, all right? Okay. I'll be right back. We are here today for the obvious reasons that zombies are roaming the earth, killing, and you have an organization that promotes zombies as pets. Does this mean you're a fan of the apocalyptic disaster? Don't eat that cat! Stop it! Let him go! <sighs> Bad zombie! Knock it off! I'm not a, I'm not a fan of, of zombies. It's just that they're here, and there's nothing we can do about it. We have to either learn to, to live with them or be their food. How long have you had your zombie? Uh, about two months. He's he's about a four-month-old zombie. That Don't would think about it. That would explain the wretched stench. Yeah, yeah. They do smell a little bit, but there's things you could clean them and stuff like that. Don't look at her leg like that. Who is your zombie, and how did he become a zombie? Uh. I don't know who he is. Uh, I found him. I like his tattoos. He's got a. He's got a. Uh, don't, don't even think. Uh, he's got a. Uh, Obi Wan. Uh, right here. Knock it off. Does it have a name, or do you just call it Zombie? And how do you keep him so docile? I call him Zombie, and. Uh, I keep him docile. With, I got some of this uh, zombie gone. See? You don't even like to look at his stuff. He's afraid of it because it really works. I'm curious as to why you'd want to adopt a zombie. Well, like I said, they're here and uh, there's nothing we could do about it. And, you know, we could either be their food or be their masters. How do you feed your zombie? Uh. Well, ah, pizza guy. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me check. There's a lot of feral zombies out here. Who is it? Pizza delivery. Right. Hey, I'm up. 75. All right, well, I left my wallet in the other room. I'll be right back. Two seconds. Let's ask the pizza guy a few questions. Hi, I'm Colleen Nord from Channel 3 News. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Sure. How do you feel about delivering pizza with all these zombies around here? Oh, well, I'm not afraid of them. I mean, I got zombie repellent. Never leave home without it. Oh my god! What? Cut! Cut! Oh my god, cut! Oh my god! What you do? Stop it! Look what you did. Look at the pizza. I was starving. What the hell is Oh, cool. Zombie be gone. Look what you did. I can't believe this. Oh my god. Yeah. Get. Got a cops are gonna be here and everything. Get up. Get out of here. Oh my god. Get up. Get out. Come on, you ruined my pizza. Get in there. Look at this mess out here. I think he's like, okay. He... Look, he's getting up. I think he's okay. No, he's not. He's a zombie. Look at him. No, he's okay. He's no, getting up. Blood. He's a zombie. Get away from me. You, you, you messed up the pizza. Kill someone with the pizza. I don't know what's going on. He's locking him in the shed. Oh, my God. Zombie just killed uh, the pizza guy, so I'm gonna lock him in the shed for a little while. And uh, when the, the cops are definitely gonna be here, so I appreciate if you wouldn't like film anything when the cops are here, because okay. you know we got a dead pizza guy. 
and I'm starving. I gotta make a grilled cheese or something. But uh, all right. Okay, I got uh, the zombie in the shed, and um, he killed the pizza guy. That kind of sucks. But uh, at least I got a new thing of zombie gone. It's full too. So that's that's good. But uh. But listen, when when the cops get here, if they get here, do me a favor and please don't don't film. No, right? we, please stop we, filming. We won't film. Who is it? I got a call about service. Uh, here. Twenty two. Yeah. What's with all the cameras? Um, we're we're just making a documentary about uh, Siamese cats. Yeah. Right? Sign these cats. Yeah. Mind if I look around? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Just don't mind us. We'll just continue. Come on, I asked you not to film. Turn it off. Shut it down. Well, I'm glad the cops are gone. Finally got to eat something. Grilled cheese. That was good. Jeez. Mm -hmm. oh, have you ever had the cops come here before about him? No, never, never, never a problem. Um, it's the first time. Did you ever prepare for anything like that? No, I mean, the pizza guy, he had zombie gone right in his hand. Yeah. He could have used it. It was a yeah. fair fight as far as I'm concerned. You saw how I chased the zombie away, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, why couldn't he do the same thing? He deserved it. No, or someone will find him and take him in like I took my zombie in, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. He'll have a home. It'll be good. I better go let him out though. And uh, I don't like to leave him alone back there. Mm -hmm. I better go uh, I better go let him out. Alright, come on, let's go. This is him in the shed. I think he's gonna take him out soon. Yeah, I'm gonna take him out now. You bet he's gonna you're riling him up, I think. Okay, why don't you stand over it's here and uh, and I'm gonna take him out. Come on. Oh! No, come on. No, no, leave the bikes. Leave the bicycle there. We'll play bicycle tomorrow. Leave the bicycle there. No, stop it. Put the bike back. Put the bike back. Put the bike back. We've witnessed some very strange things in life. And the death of a man who thought he could keep a zombie as a pet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take the phone.